How was Jeff Keeley's? I know they announced Dark and Darker on Steam. It was ass. It was mid. Okay, well, that's every year, it seems. Oh, okay. Already skipping the countdown. All right. Let's go. Please welcome to the stage, I want to see their intro. The creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. What? Okay. Wow. Oh man, all that top row isn't filled out. Embarrassing. Pathetic. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? We are so thrilled to be here with you and this is a showcase of what's next for games. All right, we're skipping forward. Video closures which have disappointed Bro. Bro, please. Am I still alive? Is this on my end? All of us. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to this speech. Let's hear this. I can't wait for but all the let's buzzwords. Also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures, which have disappointed all of us. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. Balatro, Buckshot Roulette, really? I guess people might play it. I don't know. I feel like a lot of games are great to watch. And I, like even horror games are like this. They don't sell well. Or I would imagine they don't. And same with like Buckshot Roulette. It's not really a horror game, but like... Just don't expect people to Two buy it. Two of them are considered, you know, big company games. But the other eight come from indie, mid-sized teams, or solo developers. I look at this list... It's pretty cool, right? And I get inspired that new ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and will break through. It's a reminder to big companies that they have to treat their developers right because today there are many paths to sustainability and success, and that's what makes this industry so, so great. I agree with that. That's awesome. And you'll see that reflected in the show cool. today because over the next two hours... We'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but also smaller titles, including a few games made by single individuals and first-time creators that we invited to be part of this show because we think this platform is important as a way to show you new things that you might not even know about. So when okay. you see a game that piques your interest, please wish list it, or even better, send it to a friend and get them excited. That's how we together can grow the gaming community and we are going to do okay um Volps just said there was a leak about the summer games fest that a one minute one minute of trailer cost two hundred and fifty thousand usd for the publishers wow running a trailer during games fest main show this year cost two hundred fifty thousand dollars for one minute three hundred and fifty thousand for one and a half minutes oh and 450 for two minutes and 550000 for two and a half. They also say that last year's edition of Game Wars featured the same pricing tiers. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's fucking... Marketing's the most expensive part of anything. That today, over the next two hours, is we have a lot of games to show you, plus... Day I don't know if that's true, the numbers, but more it wouldn't titles. surprise me. So should we get to the games? Yeah! All right. It all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, hey, look, this is a hot dog guy auditioning Lego? for the, um, ooh, the lead in unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage! Empathy. Oh, hilarity! <laughs> this guy! Strength! Oh, 
And what game is this anyway? Hey, neat costume. I gotta get me one of those. Ooh, sandwich. Sorry, gotta go. Who is that? Is that Horizon Zero? Oh, it is. Dog guy is Aloy, an amazing video game lead. Thunderjaw went mad and is tearing through the valley. Don't worry, I'll bring it down. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, me eye. And cut fire attack. A lonely hero, hunting machines all by herself. Hello, I have friends, you know. Let's do this. Uh, right, a friendly hero, hunting with her pals. Now, hey, what side are you on? Hmm. Exploring. Wow, what is this place? Okay. Collect. Wait, who is that? Here we go. Is that another hero? Who is that? Down you go. Some random guy. Oh, you are mustard on that. Is that the bug? I'm good. It's also from Horizon. Okay, I was just curious. Cool. I don't care for Lego games. Lego is great, but I don't care about their gaming part. What is this? Okay, co-op. Resident Evil? I don't know, the gas station makes me think that. It's definitely not. Permadeath? Okay. That could be cool. It's like a project Zomboid first person. Really, really intense. All right. To introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter VI a few years ago and of course Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Yeah, I feel like hardcore. If you force players to do it, it's so nice. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. Okay. As young witches and wizards, we all dream of soaring through the sky like oh. our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat your toughest opponent? To keep your composure in the face of adversity? To chase your dreams at any price? To seek glory for your team? No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. So ask yourself, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of the Quidditch champion? Okay, I don't know what the gameplay looks like, though. It's the worst defense I've ever seen. Okay, that's a bunch of air. I don't know what she just taught. Who cares? It's like a prison escape. OK. 
Okay, scan that shit. Well, didn't their teammate just go into that? Am I crazy? Okay. All right. Wow. How many people can... What? the police though That's a fun one, right? And remember, that's all made by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. All right, next if you one. Could, if you could be the cops, like you can have some people be the police that try and prevent your escape, that would be a hundred times better. Otherwise, I feel like the replayability would just go down quick. This year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August 30th from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games, the first open world Star Wars game where you live the life That's of Cap. a scoundrel. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's mm. forward event, streaming as part of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game, just a small taste of what's to come. Okay, great. A friend needs a little something stolen. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? We should get moving. Man. Trailers are so iffy. I can't tell if that game's gonna be like hot garbage trash or amazing. <laughs> this guy spotted Lando I shouldn't, there. So I shouldn't be so way, confused. Everything we've shown you so far, I think is gonna be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, this year, Cuff Bus, I'm not quite sure, but it's like, it's so cool that there's stuff that we're gonna get to play in the next few months here. All right, well, moving back to smaller wow. teams, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game. And I have to say, it is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, the creators of the game award winning game Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. Okay. Oh, I played Grits. It was really pretty. This game's also going to be really pretty, I guess. All right. Wallpaper Engine loved Gris. Oh shit! Oh, they have combat in this one. They did not in the la in Gris. That's sick. Okay.
All right, we don't need to see that. After Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we got lots more for you. Let's go back. Uh, there. Study the past if you would define the future. All are architects of fate, working in these walls of time. Let us all for death prepare, or on the last great journey fare. Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle. What is this game? But let me first do some great thing that shall be told among men. Oh, it's Siv. Each okay. of us shall endure this world's life until the end. I've been playing Hades 2 on my Steam Deck. So moat it be. Just constantly in my ears. Like, can't stop. I can't can't get away from it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Summer Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce that Civilization 7 is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment. But we also have to thank you our incredible fans around the world for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 Me? Years. What? Okay. This is Wukong? Okay. I mean, I figured. Damn, he's got that those Lu Bu thingamajigs. The fuck? Oh. Oh, collector's edition stuff. Wow. All right, next. This is a VR game? I don't care. Next. Oh my god. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths, reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Stardust. But mankind was given more than it wished for. Not progress, but chaos. Every new height wow. brings it <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> and yet hope still glimmers, even in the depths of the unknown, like mayflies. We die to live again. The fuck is this? This is all over the place. Show the greatest resilience. Wherever we remain standing, we stand together. Once human, huh? What does greatness mean to you? Don't care about the montage. Don't care. Don't care. Damn. Brother, we fight! For Ultima!
All right, welcome uh, back to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've got some amazing developers. Hold on. Yeah, let me go back. That looked pretty cool. Y'all saying there's PvP? I didn't see that, and I want to see it if it's there. Tearing it before. Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. The numbers are endless. Okay. I will take you all. That's sick. Oh, I saw I saw Space Marine on Space Marine. Okay. Cool. I thought it was going to be like a Dynasty Warriors All right, trash game. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very oh, Chaos excited Marines. to okay. our first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this October. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Okay. I don't care about Persona, I'll be honest, but I know people are hyped for it. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I am the director of Metaphor. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejima. Okay. So each type's. Oh so my we are God. pouring all of our acquired expertise into this game to make it as exciting as possible. In fact, that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. The reality is we oppress, we fight. A great evil flows through this land found a way to wield true magic. Many more protectors and followers will gather to your side. Okay. Remind people that the same powers lie dormant within them. On guard! You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. I'm as confused as ever. No holding back. Now you've acquired a most interesting power. An archetype whose existence was I'm skipping. I don't sorry, I don't care. <clears throat> Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, on stage. Thank you guys. And for that deep look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're okay. going to jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. As Fucking can't wait to hit my arrow key a couple of times. I don't care. Sorry. Give up on VR, please. Is this Street Fighter? I actually have a, uh, a Street Fighter tournament coming up that I have to practice for in like four days. I don't know who any of these people are. I've never played Street Fighter. But I think it's me and Viki are on a team and we're gonna get a coach and we're gonna play with that coach and we're gonna go against other teams that have not played and have a coach. Ask for Brian or Sajam. I, I don't... Who do I? Can I say who I have? I think it all got told to us. Hang on. 
I don't know who any of these people are, just to be blunt. Okay, I think my coach is Riddles. On Team Liquid. I'm gonna let him know that y'all hooed him. He is not a Street Fighter pro. Okay, let me ask y'all this. Is Hungry Box a Street Fighter pro? Or H Box? I think it's Hungry Box, right? Or Da Buzz? Or Shadow? Okay, so I think we all got Smash Pros. I think those are the coaches. So we're gonna learn nothing. I love that. As long as we're on equal playing field. What am I looking at here? Scotland. Roguelike? Oh, oh, oh. Man, y'all fucking distracted me with this bullshit. Hang on. I gotta see what this is now. This looks shitty. Well, maybe not. Oh. Hmm. So it's like a Dynasty Warriors co-op hack and slash roguelike. I guess it, yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, this trailer ain't. Show me more of the fighting. I love the concept. I don't know if I like that trailer, which means I don't know if I like the game. We'll see. I guess we'll see. This will be when true battle begins. Uh, it's it's gonna be a bunch of you know instant transmissions. I don't need to see it all. Cool. Next. Eleventh. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally up. We've got a new mission, Operation Lightning Strike. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The conflict's escalating between Havoc Corps <laughs> and Melee guns. <laughs> it's time to take action. Objective. Collect and decode the Mandelbrick, located at the tourist center at the southeast region. We need to utilize terrain for stealth insertion. Execute swiftly and silently. We're in position. Okay. Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. Luna, clean the balcony. On your mark. Balcony clear. Go, go, go! Clear the area! Yo, I'm going in. The drill is over. Operation commences. Good luck. Okay, so two teams go in at the same time trying to, I guess, rob or do a heist on the same place. So it's PvPVE? I mean, that's kind of cool. 
I could see that being But that nice. is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. <laughs> okay, Here cool. Here wow. is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. Wow. The movie? Remember that PS2 game for Lord of the Rings when it would randomly play clips from the movie? What if it's gonna be like that? All units prepared for landing. One foot. Clear. Secure and capture a team in your cabinet. Over. Get down! Get down! update for you on Fatal Fury City. Too, true. Tree Fighter, Tekken, Fatal Fury, Guilty Gear, Mortal Kombat. Smash, I guess well, Smash is very unique, right? Dragon Ball Z. I mean fuck, I'm sure the list goes and goes. Dolby Axon? The program that leaked my IP back in the day. All right, next. I don't give a fuck about this animation. Yep. Oh, I played this before, didn't I? This game was actually kind of cool. I liked it at least. Yeah, it was sponsored. But it was cool. I just, it needed to get polished and people need to actually care about it. Yeah, I'm not a big, like, mecha robot fan. I don't, I'm not part of that crowd. We're back here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground cover.
Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I must not sleep. I am terrified to sleep. And I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Amy? I'll save you, no matter what. Just go home, Viv. Amy! The local police department asked me to help with a case. These are multiple Why different games. Game designer. Should have some developer mode. Project C. Dark times await us. Is this a publishing company? Oh. They make like shitty fun movies. Like Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Like they're not good, but they're fun. It's a publishing company. Okay. Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO oh and founder of Blumhouse, and Luis Blaine. Megan, I walked at Blumhouse Games. I walked out of the theater when uh, Vicky and I went to go watch Megan. We hated it. All right, this is going to be publishing company fucking corporate talk. Been there. See here, we're going to. I get it, but I ain't going to listen. You know, now we're on start with uh with not just one but we wanted to start with a few games so cool they might actually do some really good games like sure their movies are not great but they're fun and i think that's a really good fit for games so it could be really good fuck i really want to publish a, a really good horror game but damn it now that's their competitor they're gonna take all of them aren't they those fuckers <laughs> ah, okay. I don't care for these games. This part looks fun. I don't know. Ludwig has one. Ludwig has what now? A publishing company? Oh shit. Well, I'm going to his Twitter right now. I'm sure he tweeted about it. He's a businessman. He tweets things. Oh. We fucked around and made a game publishing company, Off Brand Games. Oh, I'm following them. <sighs> they must have put it in like owner's chat and I just clicked follow. I didn't know that was Ludwig. Pirate Software. Cool. All right, any, back to this. Competition. I agree. I got. I'm tired of all these other publishing companies. We need to kill them. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I took a week and a half off. I forgot how to control my sentences. like limbo this is 
fun. I like this. I really like this. I like games like this. It's like little nightmares and inside and limbo, yada yada. What a beautiful game, Deer and Boy, which comes from first time developer. <laughs> okay, that's actually Jason the name Gay of the game. Paris, who started that project <laughs> alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that are why we do this show, giving first time developers lagging. a chance to show you what they're working on. Great, 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 cool. Next. These two young fellas, I need to find them. One's a smart ass smith. And the other's a blue blooded fledgling. You oh no. Like My frames. Bra. How dare you speak? Oh. Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. <laughs> But in the end, we all face your judgment. Is, is this on my end? Like, what are these fucking frame skips? I'm getting tired of this. I'm going 1080p. I can't handle it. For what we should have done. <laughs> Dang it. What the hell is this little helmet thing here? But lacked the courage to do. Oh. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I see what it was. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! God. Here, let's do this. 115.12. Oh, God. Holy shit. Dude, what? It, I'm just gonna close Mozilla Firefox and reopen this. Like, it really does just feel fucking fucked. Hang on. <clears throat> could be my ad block. It could be, and I'm gonna keep ad block too. Creator Keuchu Toyama son. Uh, back in 2020. Damn, this feels way better. Okay, hey, here we studio. go. Police. Is this like a detective game? Oh. What? Did he just die? Is kill himself? Oh. Oh wait. Yeah, he's just in the in the street, dead. What? What? Super Saiyan? I gotta work on those animations. Oh shit.
Is that an M&M? &M? Oh shit. That was tight. That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Killer Bean. It's because I'm good at what I do. Really. Really. Good. Damn! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I used to be an assassin from the Shadow Agency. An international organization powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Now, I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency! <laughs> well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die... Damn. Holy fuck. They made me who I am, and I will make them pay for it. Okay. I think you get that Glad out of a like cereal that box. One. That was Killer Bean, a third person roguelike shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously worked in. Happy to be the of Time being gameplay. I feel like I've seen this before. Okay, it's a rock climbing game, obviously, just like... I don't know if it's another Rage Bay game. I don't know, like that rock climbing looked really... Like you say like Assassin's Creed, literally just jump at the yellow and just hold up arrow and X, right? And you just, you go up. This game looks a little more, more, which I don't know if it's been done before. You control each limb. I don't know. There was that one rock climbing game I played, uh, the Yorn shit. That had some cool stuff, but it wasn't just about controlling each limb. You know, it was just your arms. With cool tools that you could use, and that was it. I'm not meant to be here. I'm a fighter. I'm meant Peaks to be of in your. the arena. In combat. But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Running a tea shop. So, what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening. Okay. And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. What the fuck? None of these tasks are all that hard. They just take patience. And I'm not really the patient type. But I'm surviving. Of course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. And once that's done, I'll usually check in with Boro, the guy who owns the shop, to see if my help is needed anywhere. And when all <laughs> the chores are done, sometimes I'll just sit on a bench and do absolutely nothing it's not fighting but it's peaceful and what's weird is that i actually feel good okay I'm happy i can stop running now i can stop tell can me you're stop. a cozy game in one sentence rather than 15 running this is good for me i need oh, to wait. enjoy this i 
feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I thought it was a cozy game. That was Wonderstop, the announcement of the next game from Davey Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming, as you would expect from him, and Ivy Road cannot wait to play that. All right, now here's a look at the story trailer for Unknown 9 Awakening, a narrative action-adventure game that tells the story of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. Okay. I'm gonna pee. Turn your thoughts inward and focus on your shade. Do you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The unknown nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Why are you so interested in Vincent? Yeah. He killed someone I loved. Remember stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. <laughs> Damn, the music drop. What? No way. I've been listening and watching through the mirror. Uh, I you don't know if that'll be good. Strange place. Vincent found something down there. Maybe, I don't know. Hey, how about we see the world together? I finally have something. Something that I want to protect. Now steal your heart. Adventure starts. Okay. Capcom summer deals. Okay, I don't care about summer deals. So that's great. You're crazy. Hey, what is I'm this? Okay, apparently I fucked up. Okay. Ooh. I like that music. I want more guitar. I would love like a souls like with guitar theme. Dragon Ball Z? What is going on? Did he rip his face off? I'm so confused. Oh. So, okay. Hitman. I wonder what that game's gonna actually look like. All right, we're back here live for more summer. Probably trash. Fest, yeah. The first descendant 
Powered by Unreal Engine 5 is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook mechanic. It is wow. finally set for release, and we're very happy here to debut the new trailer and the reveal of the release date. Grappling hook? What? I just know everything Jeff is saying about the game is like the devs really want him to say those things, right? They really wanted us to know there was a grappling hook. I just find that funny. <laughs> Yeah, I saw her ass too. Crazy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I saw her ass again. Crazy. No gameplay, I assume. that never paid me don't really get the chance they deserve so we thought we could help out a little bit that's why we're excited to announce our side project outer sloth an indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular among e days this is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates players peers by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games and then we all get to play them which was the real plan. I, I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff, it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy. <laughs> No, I did, but whatever. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ian from Shapeshot, and you may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, Battle Suit Aces. We are Studio Any Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action roguelike, where you'll have to customize and master your starfighter, take on merciless armadas, and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. 
Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. These are actually all my grandkids. That's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds like you did. Yes, there's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. The show's going to be adopted. That's not my... I'm not affiliated. Okay. There, okay. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I love things like this where you can really like tell that how what's the word how disconnected the higher ups are because this is like what four years late up next we have Sonic X Shadow Generations <laughs> a definitive great Elijah Wood collection of oh. 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. I like that music. <laughs> Huh, wait, 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 what did that just say? You misspelling shit on my... Oh, okay. I thought I said another, but it's anti-hero. Okay, I'm done. Okay, it's ruined. That's... Okay. I don't know anyone that likes that. Like actually literally just wub wub. I don't know. I've never met anyone. I do. Okay. I mean, I'm sure you exist. Otherwise it wouldn't be, you know, still a thing. I've just never met anyone. The year of shadow, right? A movie coming in the first time. It is a future that never happened. Legendary. Is this the Dune game? One where I, Paul Atreides, yeah. was never born. I created the future until it created me. But I see a narrow way, a path that might have been. What so it's if in my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl. Everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen... ...exterminated. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan Al-Gaib. No, Kwisat Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror. Except for this one. This one 
leads to you. More Dune Awakening coming at Gamescom ONL in August. Now it is time to see the announcement of another new game okay. from a brand new development studio. I'm going to skip forward because I, I don't care to watch an anime right now. Gameplay. That's Here's it. David Kim from Uncapped Games. Game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as Is this RTS it? veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody. Kind of like how games such as... World okay, this is the biggest sponsor of the entire thing. I already know. In and that's fine. Do your thing. Exciting with its does already... The fuck? <laughs> what is going on? Is this World Tour Weekly? Is this Overwatch? Oh. The finals. It literally told you. I've never. I the don't know what the fuck that is. in Kyoto. <laughs> Next. I think that's enough. Oh, Thank Alan you. Lake. Next. Bring in a countless number. A special place. A shifting space. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities different every time we set upon the road that leads us there and yet always familiar to us in night spring i'm in danger please my number one fan you're the only one who can save me and i will come back for you my love what the fuck Cut. sean i'm really happy this is gonna get Strange. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Something was different. Try the coffee. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a. Wait, is that. That's a real shotgun? Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes? Okay, cool. A cruel and beautiful paradise. Where primal forces... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play 90% of the games here, but that's okay. Over the island's deepest secrets. Where ancient mysteries awaken. Where heroes are forged. Oh, that's great. That's cool. Next. Uh, is this like fucking one of those gotcha games? I don't, I, I actually don't know which one is which anymore. Next. Oh, here we go. I want to see their announcement.
super L. Where's Silk Song? This, okay. I gotta close the chat. What a misplay. Nice aim. Nice dodge. Oh, damn. Have you seen the Steam reviews? No, I haven't. Is it good or bad? <laughs> Bad? Oh no. <laughs> okay. I actually, I want to read those. I'm sure it's funny. Wow, look at this boss. Malding over F2 play. So it's not really free to play and people are pissed about it. Okay. There you have it, the Unforgiving Fantasy FPS Dungeon PvPVE Adventure Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Games. So what's your take? What is it? How, like, what, I, I think, correct me anything I'm forgetting, but I think it's like, if you do play for free, you only get one character slot, right? As opposed to like, you know, 10 or whatever. You can only play normals and it's one character. Okay, I didn't know you can only play normals. Hmm. What, and someone said they're fixing? What are they changing? Oh, you can't trade. Eat. Oh. Yeah, so basically you get to test it. It's not even playing. And any gear you get, you can't take into the next run. Well, that's a fucking waste. But, I mean, I get it. They got to make money. It's a free-to-play game. This shit cost money. They need to make money. I get it. But, I don't see their stats. I don't know. I wonder what they're going to do. Game store today. So play it this weekend. All right. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket Upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated Why do you like care? One. You're rich. You're totally right, right dude. the announcement of the release date. No, the dark, dark and Darker sucks ass because no one is playing it. And the only people that are playing it are Sweats that are like... They're fucking losers. I don't care what anyone says. So I would queue a game, and more than likely, every single game I queued, there would be three people in the lobby that were like leaderboard, like people, um, trying to get on the leaderboards. And they W key straight to your spawn, and they killed you. And that was the game. Every game was like that. You'd wait 10 minutes to get into a game because there's not enough players and you do get in the game and the people that are in it are awful to play with. Even in high roller, even in normals, it sucked. So it going free to play would hopefully fix it. It would make it to where, you know, hey, every now and then, yeah, you're going to get fucking stomped. That's okay. But it's not every game. That's sort of it. Skill issue. Yeah, sure. Either way, the game is was dying. So For have your own opinion. Kunitsugami, but it was dying of the goddess. Probably will again. It might. Yeah, probably will. Either way, I was hyped to hear it's on Steam. I was hyped to hear free to play. Sucks that it's not real free to play, but it's in the right direction, right? That's my opinion. No, it's in a horrible direction. You're right. They should increase the cost of the game. Just do that.
Fuck it. Let's uh let's charge more than the Ari skin. Let's really, you know, make some headlines. This looks sick. This made the devs from Fury. It looks like Fury. Same art direction. Or is this that hyper light souls like game? Damn, okay. I was wondering when we'd actually get more gameplay. That looks sick. Well, a cute little doggy, don't you know? <laughs> well, a little doggy, don't you know? Well, a happy little doggy, don't you know? Well, a I'm trying to see what's new. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, they're going to have race, race powers. Hedgehog has roll. Right? Who no. Racials. the stories about the fine people here at MCorp. So we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at MCorp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great for you. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at MCorp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear the town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. My wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town, all those lies. Everyone at M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. Okay. Ah! That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at M Corp, and we are not going anywhere. We'll the fuck is this? <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome back to Summer Games. What is M Corp? And now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Hey, Jeff. How you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. <laughs> okay. I never played Power World, so I don't know what the fuck this is. But I guess a new DLC that is adding more. 
cool. Good for them. Update. And we have been fortunate to. Is this Valorant? Today? Okay. I'll watch this. Never played Valorant before. forward what is that emote i was all right Everyone, fine you know, i thought sure. the animations were cool but yeah i don't know China. i don't know about anything new being announced there is this more riot stuff more valorant wow minus two million dollars holy fuck that's a lot of like airtime for them delivery fees and get 50 percent off your next doordash order now, here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Well, next week, Yang is going to be in voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade. And we've got your exclusive first look. Check this out. Welcome. Eternal fate. Lance Slashblade? What the Wait, fuck? He's a video game character. Why is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. Oh, don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? Watch this! Come on! No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! The that was a... Game was that just a flat out movie trailer? Like just flat out. I mean, don't be wrong, I, I'm gonna watch that movie. That Longer looks great. Brand in the US, Samsung just released new 2024 what? monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan oh, let me scan this. To get up to $300 oh, Samsung hell. credit when you purchase through June 17th, plus a chance to win $5,000 Samsung credit for US residents. Summer Game Fest 2024! Look at all of you cooped up watching video game announcements. And yes, Chicken does look a lot like Ken Jung. And today, Chicken is excited to share a new game that Chicken and Chicken's buddies are in called Squad Busters. You fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things, and Chicken has a big role. That's all that matters. And here, is our big ad. Squad up. Oh, oh. I mean, cock a doodle doo. Bro. Cock a doodle doo. Oh, it's Supercell. It's What's a mobile game. Who are you? Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. <laughs> We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fine. <laughs> I, drink, I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. 
Come on, but get off. I am butt naked from the waist down, so... Get out of the f***ing bed, dude. Get out of the bed. All right. These are Tell A... Right, mobile uh, games. Excellent. These are A-list fucking because, actors. Uh, uh, because... Your sword <laughs> fights, I know about your sword fight. He is a bridge. He's that, one of the uh, most yeah. equitable people I've ever met. So great emotionally. Yeah, right. Also, I've pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I just don't think you're qualified to be an accountant, so... Which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. <laughs> Congratulations! What's the park like? There's more where that came from. Oh, I I hope not. Guys, maybe everything is in a squad activity. Relax your brows, your mind. You call this a squat? <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. Imposter. Jinx. 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 No, Not even Jinx. A list celebrities. You're supposed to be a lumberjack? Wait, 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 Wanna go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Hey, hey, hey. We ain't never leaving you. Good boy. Here. What? I came from inside me. Okay. What? Mr. At, least was, at least that was a fun trailer, but I'll never play that game. Unless they pay me, which they might. Monster Hunter Wilds. Um, thank you. Why are you here? You can't do this alone. We need to shake them off. Follow me. Go. Here it comes. There's too many of them! Watch out for that glove! I will draw a tire! Cover me! You got it! Be careful! Be ready! If we can make it to the rocks, we may lose them! Dead. Cool. Thank you, Riosa Sun. We will see you at Gamescom here. Well, play. I like that music intro. What days do I have left? <laughs> 42 or 41. The face of this is here! Damn. Don't. Don't go up there. Turn back. Oh. oh it's too late. God.
That was a good music choice. That soundtrack is sick with those animations. Okay. Okay. I've seen those enemies before. That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. All right. That was definitely... That last trailer was... That is sick. I'm hyped for that one. Not this Outer Wild shit. Whatever the fuck... Whoever the fuck made this? Who the fuck did this? Oh, featuring all real gameplay. Here's our final game of the show, Phantom Blade Zero. Yeah, I don't even know who the fuck did it. S S game is the dev. Okay, well they, I don't know. Maybe the trailer is just good. Maybe the gameplay is gonna suck. And either way, sick trailer. All right, I don't care about dev day bullshit next expo because there's so many to go through. Xbox, time to skim through this one. All right. Xbox apparently did the best this year, which is not what I would have. That wasn't on my bingo card. Okay. Oh, it's literally Doom. Oh. <laughs> That's a funny guy. I like that. What a cool idea. Cool. Jesus. God damn. Who were you before? Who did you love? Oh, I gotta pause this for one second. Hang on. All right, give me one second. I gotta go make one quick call. I'll be back. Sorry. Hang on.
Unlucky. Sorry about that. My, uh... Hold on. My wallet got left in the Uber. And I just talked with the Uber driver who reached out to me. That's what I was looking at. And now it's with the Cedar Park Police. So, yeah, I gotta go to the police department at some point. I don't think I need my wallet for the next day. God help me. All right. Either way, let's keep going. Money is gone. Oh, yeah. There was not a lot of cash, though. I'm not worried about that. It's too late to ask now. We all knew the risks when we ventured out beyond the gates. But you helped us make something greater than the fear and death that surrounded us. We found hope in each other. Help! I'm surrounded. They're everywhere. There's way more than I was expecting. And even if we bought the other survivors just one more day, the sacrifice would be worth it. It would always be worth it. I was not watching. Sorry, I was mentioning people. State of Decay 3? I didn't even know there was a second. Two sucks? I, I don't know. I've never played. Not gonna have a strong opinion. Oh, Bioware owns. Like, their gunplay is like the best thing ever. This will take more than you and me. They use zone? Oh, okay. We need someone to be our eyes and ears in the shadows. And someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight. What is this? We're going into the fade, aren't we? Digging up a lot of buried secrets. What about dark? Spawn? Okay. Yeah. Someone who will stand between us and a pack of demons. So a lot of classes, but what is the game? Right. We'll need someone with fire in their blood. One more thing. This crew needs a leader. 
Someone we can count on. Someone that the world can count on. But where are we gonna find her? Ah, it's you, the customized avatar. So this is a single player game. Great. I don't care. Next. I don't know what it is. I actually hate games. This is my personal opinion. I fucking hate when you control more than one character. Unless it's like an RTS or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's my WoW MMO brain. But as soon as I have to man... Even Baldur's Gate. Like, sure, you play with three other friends. But if it's just me playing the game solo, I hate that I have three companions. I don't like managing them. I hate it. Record of a star station in this orbit. Maybe Baldur's Gate's a bad something example. Is not right. Because that's like... I don't mind it too much there. But in like dragging it, I'd be so annoyed. For the King, yeah, I, I actually don't like managing a lot of characters in For the King. I don't like it. I like immersing myself into one character, right? Not a squad. What is this? Hold very still and choose your words carefully. They will determine Starfield? how oh. long you live. You trespass in the home of House Varun. Looks the cool. Will be decided by the great serpent. Can you feel its embrace encircling your heart? Restricting until there is no more you. Only us. One big thing that people didn't like about Starfield and a lot of games is like when things aren't handcrafted, they just become a sure a thousand boring, shitty planets or one really cool handcrafted planet kind of thing, right? That seems more handcrafted. I wish you the best of luck. What am I looking at? I don't know what the fuck this is next. Voltathon 76 is sponsored in part by Sugar Bombs Breakfast Cereal. Bombs away. Folks, if you're just joining us, we are coming to you live in the 10th consecutive hour of our Voltathon 76 drive. We've got operators standing by, and oh, it looks like we've got one. Harry's on from Skyline Valley. He's sending the whole family to Vault 76. How about that? Skyline Valley. Beautiful country, right in the heart of Shenandoah. Oh, Shenandoah, I hear you calling. Call now to join Harry and the over 17 million vault dwellers already on board. And let's keep those numbers climbing. We've got four on the line from AVR Medical Center. In from is it oh, twins, vault 76 is a growing community. And strong community can weather any storm. Why, just take a look at our Skyline Valley neighbors in Vault 63. Bio. The greatest scientific minds are hard at work, cooking up shocking new ways to protect and preserve this Appalachian Eden. Yes, Skyline Valley is a stunning portrait of Mother Nature in repose. From the picturesque Shenandoah National Park to its majestic wildlife and friendly local residents, Skyline Valley is a welcome home to all. 
And don't forget to bring home a souvenir or two. Never played Fallout. I when have no idea what's going on. When the started dropping, don't come a knock. Call now to reserve your place in Vault 76. Still not sold? Well, I suppose having skin is not for everyone. Best of luck out there. Lost the wine, Played New Vegas. Nope. No. Not really. World premiere. Never played Fallout. I think I played Fallout for an hour, maybe. Like on Shit Show Saturday, and then I next gamed it. That's it. Soon she'll wake and paint again. Paint a new number. Ticking down every year. One stroke, and everyone of that age vanishes into nothingness. Every Whoa. year she paints again, and every year an expedition departs for the continent with one hopeless mission. Destroy the Paintress so she can never paint death again. We'll break the cycle. So she can't steal anyone else's future. This world is full of wonders. Wow. Yet everywhere we go, we walk with death. And do you mean we're the only ones left? QTEs. Fucking not even triple digit numbers. Pathetic. Even if we fail, we lay the trail for those who will come after. Right? We. Our expedition 33. Damn. Okay, that looks really cool. Story wise. Gameplay. I like turn based. Doesn't mean I'm going to like it, but. I think it'll be cool. It's only two games I like so far. Do you think there's a chance. My still Out of both expos. Your mall's anything like you hit. That one, uh, keep fighting I already forgot what it's called. I hope so. It's oh, and Doom. The Doom look cool. Hard to believe this is all really happening. You mean to tell me your mama never told you stories about critters and weavers? Oh, you're lucky I come along. What the oh. fuck? Shh. That's too tall, tall. Big gator. I gotta drop you off fast. After I got you out of that tree, you said you helped me find my mom. I ain't at the disposition to be gator snacks. Well, me neither. If we're gonna go on, we gotta get rid of him. I'm all ears. There's a church up a ways with a big bell. Go on and ring it. You wanna make him come running? Tom can't abide the sound of the bell. Some church folks once tried to dynamite him. And he didn't take that too kind. Did you ring that bell? He might skedaddle. You better not skedaddle. Go on, now scoot. I'll pick you up yonder after to go find your mom. Trifling ass mud kid. Hey, I heard that. Okay. I like that. Gotta move quickly now. We'll see if I like this part. <laughs> How did she not realize? Okay. What is this, a oh, boss fight? No. 
I don't like when enemies just appear out of nowhere. Like a random ball. A lot of games do that. Your streams do that? That's true. All right. Time to find that church. Damn, that mobility looks awesome. There it is. Now to get over there. pretty cool. I like that. Music is sick. Hold up and press X. Nice. Okay, that's daunting. I don't like how it goes from like 60 or whatever FPS to 3. Might be a really fun story game. I don't think the I don't think anything outside of the story is gonna be great though. But that's okay. Wait, what what what, what the f what am I what am I watching? What is happening? Hello? Blizzard present okay, let's just in darkness. What? She slumbers and dreams. And for countless generations, mortal heroes have risen to defend her. They faced monsters, tyrants, wrath, Kata. beasts of primordial Panda. horror. Okay, is this a cataclysm promotion? No? Themselves. What are they promoting? Following them to the most distant shores. Wow, too. And even Classic. across time. And space. Their courage never. Faltered. Even upon the very threshold of death. That shit was sick. That trailer. Okay, it's War Within. I get it. While new hope blooms on the horizon, the final battle draws of that near. sword. I actually don't know who that is. And Azeroth at last awakens. Was that the fucking the Navi from Avatar? So long denied me. Hold on, hold on, shut up, shut up. I'm gonna break this shit down the best I can. At least for me. Is this a new class or is this like a new race? Nice. And Azeroth at last. Could just be Druid. Awakens. Looks like a troll. What is motherfucker? What are you? At last. Awaken. 
I don't see any... T oh, I think I see tusks. That's a troll? New troll race? All right. Uh, the world's soul so long denied me shall be mine. Who is that? Who the fuck was that? Zaylith? I don't know who that is. Am I saying that right? Zalate? Zalate. Oh yeah, the Shadow Priest. So it's like old god shit. I don't know that person's lore, but okay. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the West. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. The clock is ticking. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's How does he not notice? In other words, weapons and equipment to procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? The mission rests entirely in your hands. The real one-man army. <laughs> Rambo Stealth by the way What is that triangle is that an a Commencing Delta. virtuous mission now Cool. That looks fun. This is Sea of Thieves, right? want to kill what is going on if it's vengeance you want i'll give it to you oh
That looks stupid. cool I don't know if it'll be good because like I don't know I didn't show enough enemies it kept changing scenes every half a second but that trailer made it look good we return to you now as the gods of mankind. Rulers of the Greeks and the Norse. The Egyptians and the Atlanteans. We created mankind to fight for our glory. So rise and wield my wrath. Command beastly chaos. Rain down destruction. What is this? I don't know. Unleash our fury. Worship me. Claim my power. Age of Empires? Is that Kronos? Age of Mythology. Oh, is it a remastered? the world differently I thought it would be like any other mission I hear a Minecraft oof I was wrong welcome to Garden City where it's a pleasant 23 degrees all day every day how far to his last known location local forces are also tracking his whereabouts you need to find him before they do I'll have to improvise What readings are you getting? We are getting our readings from your monitor. That is the most OP okay fucking device. I'm looking at the screen right now. Intel places Carrington on the second floor. <laughs> when the life we think we know turns out to be a lie, there's only one way forward. Find the truth. Wow. I love that parkour. Scan's clear. I'm going in blind. Carrington! Not a, come, not a lot of games do parkour like that since Mirror's Edge. Analyze. That one zombie what game. Carrington appears to be targeting a research facility. If not really anything in, else. Dying light. Could be astronomical. Anything else? Agent Doc, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I could use someone with your skills. Damn. Oh. 
Damn. to lose everything before I could see. Wow. What this world was really hiding. I hope you're ready, Agent Dark. Are you all seeing this? Once you open this door, there's no going back. God damn it. Yeah, that looks really cool. Agent Joanna Dark is caught in the middle of a near future war over advanced technology. I don't need to hear him. I don't need to hear buzzwords. No offense. Great game. Love it. Don't need to hear you talk about it. And I don't give a fuck about Diablo 4, but I'll watch this cinematic. Oh, God. Jesus. Jesus. I'm running to me. 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 Jesus. Oi, young one. Are you all right? Oh, God. Mirel? Oh, you're not well. Please, 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 my child, let me help you. Stay away from me! Nayrel! Is that how I raised you? No, mother. But... But I must carry this burden alone. I must get to Akarat's tomb. But look mm. at you. You're killing yourself. I... I don't know how much longer... I can... I'm here, little magpie. <laughs> I missed you... so much. I'm so proud of you. But now... I need you to give up. No, no, no. Of course it's you. <laughs> you must Oh god. Let go of me. Let go. No. You made a choice. And I warned you, little magpie. There would be consequences. Oh. Uh. oh my god. No! I control the stone! Look at her arms, man. Stone. You control. What the fuck Maybe is that thing? You're right. Maybe I could use some help. What? I understand he's dead, but like... So Mephistos is trapped in that shard. The Lord of Hell. That's crazy. So it does... It's an aura of evil. Evil is leaking through and I guess he just got AoE'd. That sucks. But that, is, that was fucking metal as fuck. Where's that one scene? Hold on. One scene from here was fucking nuts. That. God.
That is disgusting. <sighs> Alright, let's move on. Next. Oh, right, you. So, you want to know all about heroes, do you? Well, you have come to the right place. Because uh, who better to tell you all about them than perhaps the greatest hero of them all? Yeah? There he is, in all his finery. Cheers. <laughs> Retired. I mean, sure, you get your mega fans. You are like literally my favorite person. You haters. It's like a fan club, but we hate you. Your uh, chances and uh, the occasional giant toad for some reason. But it's more than that. It's about the choices you make. I'm a hero. I should do what I want. We thought you could save her. You know, it's your life and death stuff. That's what defines you, isn't it? Really, uh, stays with you. I knew this one hero. I took her in when she had nowhere else to go. Welcome to the most exclusive club in all of Albion. Thought I'd get her out there, make the most of her gift. But you know what it's like when you're young and you have a point to prove. I tell you, this kid, she had it all. The skill, the talent, Damn. the power. Damn. She was something else, all right. She was terrifying. So, yeah, I knew this girl once who made all the wrong choices. Humphrey. She's back. I'm going oh, to it's... fix it, this place. And no one is going to stand in my way. I don't, I don't really know a lot of the fables. My brother played it and I just watched them, but I don't know any of the lore. If you haven't played Fable 3, you absolutely should. Uh, yeah. World premiere. Use this. Make your own room. It's my turn. What? Oh, okay. It's not really a card game. I was like, okay. Well, let me let me read some of those motherfuckers. Hang on. Okay. Enemy heads are bigger. Spawn special plants or special plants slicing herb, cloaking plant, and bounce mushroom. Okay. Well, there's the interesting big head. Well, that's obvious. Uh. 5v5. So it's PvP? So it's PvP and they they apply affixes to you. Okay. Interesting. There is nothing left for me in the city. So I have traveled back to where I grew up. Here I found my childhood home in ruins. Why hasn't my aunt taken good care of it? The bridge to her house is broken, so I can't even ask her. 
I will make the tree stump a cozy home again, no matter what it takes, and no matter how hard it gets. I will fight and find meaning and beauty out here. Some will say that in the dead of winter, a small city mouse doesn't stand a chance. Maybe so, but I must keep believing that every winter leads to spring. <laughs> Fancy, finally! <laughs> Tapes bend others to my will. It's a strange, almost cosmic talent. Go back to a time where summers lasted forever, when friendships were unbreakable, and any trouble was good trouble. This year, I want to write a flaming stallion of delinquency. Yes! What's your name again? From Beethoven and Dinosaur comes an adventure a lifetime in the making. Uh. Experience the freedom of the teenage wasteland, sneaking out, making out, avoiding the law, and maybe something a little more. Hey, can I stand up? Yeah, little rock for go nuts. Oh no, she's gonna die. Track of a generation. Nostalgia huffing hard here. Yeah, just huffing that nostalgia. Ourselves in 10 years. I'll just remember to tell myself it felt important at the time. Your greatest memories are stored in music. You're invited mm. to go back. What the fuck? Mixtape. There have been noise complaints. Okay. Okay. What is the gameplay, though? There's got to be a... Okay, we'll see. Is it a walking sim? It fucking might be. Like, sure, you can skateboard, but why? Why are you doing it? being a teen okay so if we're gonna talk about the last game are you just gonna hit the start button and it says what would you like to do skateboard and then you just do a skateboard map what would you like to do get in a car and stand up what would you like to do like and you just hit, hit a drop down like is that it that's kind of what i'm asking i don't think that's it I mean, I've seen this. It, it's it's fucking it's flying simulator. That's great. Next. Yeah. 
their 10 year celebration just the trailer? Hey guys, we paid $500,000 for two minutes. 10 years. Is there no like event? Oh, play all the DLCs for free. Okay, there's something. Cool. I don't care, but I'm sure two DLC people ago. do. I found my friend's body in the woods. I don't know who I can trust. Or who trusts me. But my friend Safi is dead. Duh. Okay. So why can I still hear her voice, man? Focusing my power, I somehow shifted into a parallel timeline. Here, Safi is still alive. Is this like butterfly effect? Step. And only I can investigate both realities. They are parallel world? It's the same as this one, except you're dead. I can still save Safi. If I can solve and prevent the same murder across two timelines. Okay. Are you sure you want to investigate this thing? Ooh, I can't let this go. It could be the best kept secret in history. Indiana what Jones? Indiana. Oh! Dun, dun, dun. These artifacts have a deep connection to something dun, 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 in the dun, dun, past. Voss believes they hold a kind of power. A discovery that could change the world. What were you doing out there? Fresh air! <sighs> we have to find the stones, Gina. Or they will. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you'd get a perfectly aligned circle. The Great Circle. Exactly. I intercepted the Morse code coming from the Himalayas. Where Voss is sending all of his men. I wonder if the bad guys are going to be Nazis again. Is that a... Battleship? Yep. Let's get a closer look. Gotta find the stone and get off this ship. Is that a Nazi? What's that in his hands? What does it say? Earth something. Huh. What was that? We'd better hide. Oh my god, it is the Nazis. But it actually is. <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> Hands behind your head. It's Mr. Nazi. <laughs> Where's the stone, you American rat? <laughs> what stone? Have you ever heard of Höhenangst? Fear of heights? Yes! <laughs> and I have it. I endured this dreadful mountain even if my mind was screaming every step of the way. Because of a concept, you narrow-minded Americans will never understand! <laughs> oh. Devotion. Total and absolute devotion to the fatherland. 
You have no purpose. <laughs> what you have is your stupid American cartoons. Choo choo, choo choo. <laughs> you laugh and dance, celebrating your own idiocy and drinking some piss you call beer. <laughs> I will walk. I love this guy. <laughs> so fire men of the Reich. Give me sad stone. No! Can't give you what I don't have. I shall search your corpse to make sure it! Please wait. Give me the stone. Gina. just sat there and took it. No! I love that character. I don't agree with his morals, obviously. Do I need to clarify? looks like a fun game slash movie classic I'm all for it I just hope it's not like like that last Indiana Jones movie was trash Didn't I already watch this trailer at the Games Fest? I don't know. Hmm. I don't care for mecha shit, but I'll keep watching. Yeah, I can't tell if that's going to be a fun game. I don't think anyone can. You never know you are a monster. Ugh. Until someone comes to slay you. The first signs are really subtle. But over time, it becomes clear. The gift changes you. Slowly consuming every little part of your humanity. Oh. Damn.
Damn. She had a spear? Dual wield? Axe? Do you pick your weapon or do you have a weapon that changes into all of them? I don't know. I should know. It runs in my blood. Again, could be good, could be shit. Can't tell. Not enough gameplay. has chosen you as our envoy to the living lands. That wild frontier suffers from the dream scourge. Find the root of this terrible plague and put an end to it. He is wrong. The dream scourge is but a symptom of a deeper, more dangerous rot. Go. Tame the chaos that plagues the living lands, so that those who remain standing can shape its future. They both deceive you. There is more wonder in this world than eyes alone can see. You must open yourself to its mysteries. Tend to its purpose, no matter how wild. Okay, first person. That's all I've gotten the so far. living lands truly needs. Not first person? It's protector. What the fuck? Okay, first person. Cool spells. Yeah, I have no clue if this game's good or not. It didn't tell me anything. Next. Damaging it? I don't, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Another game. You can't tell if it's good or bad. I'm getting tired of this. Did your father ever tell you why my bones ache in the weather? War. Their soldiers killed everyone. I do not fear our enemy. They talk of peace and dream of war. I've never seen that before. Our people deserve to be freed of the oppressor's grasp. Vengeance is unknown. Is this Us Assassin's now, Creed? Believe me, there are other ways to heal. Uh. People so quick to abuse their power do not deserve to keep it. Oh uh. shit. There is much we will learn from each other, Yasuke. You can see when two people fit, when they will be better together. There is no honor in praying on the weak. 
I think I heard about this. People are really upset that there's like a black guy. Together, we will bring justice back to the people. I bet it would make for like interesting storytelling though. Like the uh, blue eye samurai, like everyone's racist towards her because she's, what's the word they use? Half breed or something. So it could make for interesting storytelling. I don't know. I'm not going to lose sleep overnight. There's a black samurai. <laughs> okay. Вы тільки погляньте на це. Край, чарівний край, чермошай прута. Ти моя любов, ти рідна матінко моя. Жива. Координати закинув. Поховався. What is this? People are saying stalker? What do you do in this game? Oh shit. You stalk? Okay. So is it a survival game? You survive in a post nuclear Ukraine. survive and look for artifacts is it permadeath is it online single player okay Bro, you gonna stand? What do you? I showed you who I am. Go your own path, and then you can see Game Pass. We've been honored to partner with from both our partners, Game Pass Lines, Beautiful, Welcome home. Oh. No way. Let's go, Marcus. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're muscular. Oh shit. Oh, you're right. They are playing Mad World.
He's alive? Now that I think about it, they never really show like how it all happened. There's just fucking what do they call them again? The guys underground. Locusts, right, weird. They're just underground. And then one day, hey, we're here. Skip this, it's all caught. Oh. Is it actually all caught from here? Oh my god. This is a global feature we call Corner Top 6 Multiplayer. Yeah, you're fucking right. I don't care. COD 6, cool. Alright, let's see another one here. <laughs> 